On this episode, I'm going to teach you how to roast pumpkin seeds. Every year after we carve our pumpkin, what do I do? You make the pumpkin seeds. Right. And it's super easy. The only thing you'll need are the seeds from your pumpkin, whatever spices you like, some cooking spray for your cookie sheet, and that's it. So this can get a little messy, so I went ahead and put an apron on, and you are going to need a pretty sharp knife, so you'll need some adult supervision. That's you. That's right. And uh, you go ahead and cut the top off of your pumpkin. Don't forget, everybody wash your hands before dealing with any food. Okay, so we've cut the top off of the pumpkin. If you feel you're struggling with a regular knife, you can always go ahead and purchase one of these little kits and use one of the, the um, pumpkin carving knives. I think they really do help. We're ready to scoop out some of the yummy seeds and flesh. So go ahead, Chris. Just place it right in the bowl. If it kind of sticks, we've got a scooper. You can go ahead and get some of those threads too. That's no problem. How's it feel? Very slimy. Slimy. See it. Come on. I just got part of it. Ooh! Ooh, I got a big thing of seeds. Good, Good, right? Yeah, it's nice and slimy. So continue scooping until you have all of your seeds, the strings, and the flesh out of your pumpkin, and then we'll go on to the next step. So next we're going to put our seeds in a colander. Let me just scoop the rest of them out. If you'll hold the bowl for me. Thank you. Very good. You're welcome. I'm going to rinse them with some water. You might have to actually pick out some of the pumpkin strings, and that's okay. And then we'll be ready to prepare them. Okay, so I've gone ahead and preheated the oven to 325. And now, Chris, if you'll go ahead and place the rinsed seeds in this glass bowl. Great. I'm going to go ahead and spray the cookie sheet down. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put... That's good. You can hand pick a few out if you, if you want. And as you see, this is how they look. Sometimes I drizzle a little bit, just a few drops of olive oil in there, but you really don't even have to because they're still kind of wet. You want to go ahead and lay them on the cookie sheet? Either way, pour them, hand do it, either way. And then we are going to um, pick out our seasoning. What do you want to do? You want to do a flavor, you just want to do salt and pepper, you want to do garlic salt, you want to do half and half. Oh, no. What do you I think? think? Just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper? Okay. You know what? Half and half would be good. Okay. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting just the salt and pepper. That's Yeah, that's not enough. But stuff. sometimes they they like just the salt and pepper, so we'll do half of it. Just plain salt and pepper. Our oven's preheated to 325. And then we're going to roast these for 25 minutes. And then how about rosemary garlic, steak sauce, urban garlic, garlic salt, adobo? Okay, we'll do a little steak sauce. A lot of times even a, um, a barbecue flavor sauce is good. And you can, if you want, you can do a cinnamon sugar and make them sweet seeds if you like. Okay, Either so way. it's been 25 minutes. Oh, they look great. Smell good. Smells good. Smells really good. Yeah. And that's it. Serve them on a plate. Or a bowl, just in like the middle of the counter. Yeah, on a bowl. Sometimes I do that, just like with a, like a bowl of peanuts. I'll just sit them out, but instead I do my pumpkin seeds. You guys want to try them? Yes. They might be hot, so be careful. Good? Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Are you glad we added the steak seasoning? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your roasted pumpkin seeds.